Hey everyone, and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to deposit and how to withdraw crypto from Huobi Global. All the important timestamps will be in the description down below, and with that being said, let's hop right into the video. If you want to deposit crypto onto Huobi Global, the first thing you will need to do is to go over to Balances in the top right. You'll then need to click on Assets Overview. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one, and right here, you need to click on the Deposit button. You'll then see a menu looking similar to this one. And over on this menu, the first thing you need to do is to select a coin you would like to deposit. In this case, that's going to be Algorand. And once you have selected the coin, you'll now have to select the network. As you guys can see, for Algorand, there's only one network available. But if you need to choose between multiple networks and you're not sure which one to use, I recommend you do a quick Google search. You could Google something like which network to use to transfer and then the name of the currency you want to transfer. Once you have selected the token and the chain, you can now go ahead and click on send deposit address. You'll then need to click on confirm. You'll then need to go over to your email. And as you guys can see, you need to double check your address. So my address begins with OLDMED. OLDMED. And my address ends with R6JI. And when I go over to my email, you can also see that it's the same. So once you have confirmed your address, you can go back over to OLB Global and click on copy address. Once you have copied your address, you'll now need to go over to the other exchange. So that's the exchange you would like to withdraw from. For me, that will be Binance. You'll then need to go ahead and look for a withdrawal button. On Binance, the withdrawal button is located under the wallet section over on their finance spot page. So once you're on their finance spot page, you can go ahead and click on the withdrawal button right here. You'll then need to select the coin you want to withdraw. In this case, that's Algorand. And once you have selected the coin you want to withdraw, you can now go ahead and fill in the address you want to withdraw to. I just copied my address, so I'll go ahead and paste in my address. As you guys can see, the wallet address has been automatically matched to the corresponding network. But if you need to choose between multiple networks, and you're not sure which network to use, I, again, recommend you do a quick Google search. You could Google something like, which network supports transferring, and then the name of the currency you want to transfer. Once you've filled in the coin, the address, and the network, the last and final thing you need to do is to fill in the amount of coins you would like to transfer. Once you've filled in the amount, you can now go ahead and click on withdrawal. You'll then see the withdrawal confirmation, so please make sure to double check all the information, and once you've done that, you can click on continue, and you'll now need to go through the security verification process. So all you need to do is to click on get codes, and fill in the code you receive on your phone and on your email. I will now go ahead and show you how to withdraw crypto from the Huobi Global Exchange. So if you want to withdraw cryptocurrencies, the first thing you'll need to do is to go over to Balances in the top right. You'll then need to go over to Assets Overview, and you'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. Over on this page, you want to go over to the top right and click on the Withdrawal button. You'll then see a pop-up looking similar to this one. You need to check and confirm that you are aware of the following risks. You can click on I've read and agree, and you can then go ahead and click on confirm. You'll then see a menu looking similar to this one, and what you need to do is to select a coin you would like to withdraw. In this case, that's going to be USDT, even though I don't have any. The next thing you need to do is to fill in the address you would like to withdraw to. To find this address, you need to go over to the exchange you would like to deposit onto. For me, that will be Binance. And on Binance, the deposit button is located on their Finance Spot page. So you need to go over to Wallet and click on Finance Spot. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one, and you want to go ahead and click on the deposit button. Now, the last thing you need to do is to select a coin you would like to deposit. For me, that's going to be USDT. Always be sure to select the same coin on Binance or any other crypto exchange, as you've got selected on the exchange you're withdrawing from, because if you transfer your funds, to the address of another coin, you will lose all the funds you're transferring. So since I'm transferring USDT, I'll go ahead and select USDT. The next thing you need to do is to select the network you would like to deposit to. In this case, I'll go over to Huobi Global and look for the chains available. As you guys can see, the TRX20 is available. And over on Binance, TRX20 is also available. So I'll now go ahead and click on Get Address, Copy My Address, and once you have copied your address, you can go back over to Huobi, paste in your address, make sure you have the right network selected, and once you've done that, 
All that's left to do is to fill in the amount of coins you would like to transfer. Once you've done that, the last and final thing you need to do is to click on the withdrawal button right here. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.